we are constantly expanding the limits of the human race. Breaking one more record, making one more discovery, reaching one more breakthrough. Creative and unconventional thinking pave the way to a boundless future. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, designing a new future. Imagine a future of medical treatments without side effects. Professor Yuval Golan. Nanotechnology is about the bottom-up approach in material synthesis. The idea is to create these nanocarriers, or what we call also nanorobots, that allow us now to bring medicine and target them directly to the organ where they're needed. So think about tiny submarines that are moving now within the body and finding their way directly to the target by interactions between molecules, identify exactly the time or the point in which they need to open up and release molecules without the need for surgery, without the need for irradiating the entire body. We can prevent hair loss. We can do amazing things that now allow us to treat cancer locally. In our lab, we are designing nanobiomaterials that are capable of healing injured tissues. These nanomaterials may enhance bone healing processes and we recently found their potential application in the treatment of bone cancer. In addition, many groups here are working on nanoenergy. We are making new catalysts based on nanotechnology that allow us to convert waste into liquid fuels. By making these alternative green fuels, we produce new energy, and at the same time, we reduce the amount of waste in landfills. All of this can help us make a safer, healthier, and better planet for the next generations to come. Imagine a future where arid areas flourish and bloom. Professor Pedro Berliner. Desertification affects countries worldwide and it is essentially the degradation of productive lands into unproductive lands. At the Blaustein Institute for Desert Research, we have developed a number of techniques using a multidisciplinary approach. This allows us not only to combat desertification, but as well to sustainably settle arid lands all over the world. We have done this in a number of fields, water, agriculture, and energy. These techniques range from very simple techniques which do not require a heavy monetary input to a very sophisticated photovoltaic system to produce energy. As you can see, I'm standing by a construction site. And here they are building the American Associates Village. In this village, we'll have apartments for students which come from all over the world. They come from as far as China, South America, and Central Asia. My life story is connected to the desert, so I decided to study desert environment related to human. My dream is to get back home to Eritrea and improve life standard of the people of Eritrea. We hope that once this village is completed, we'll be able to double the number of students which are staying here. The students, once they finalize their studies, return to their home countries. And not only will they have gained knowledge which helps them in developing their countries, they will also be excellent ambassadors for our institute, Ben Gurion University, and the State of Israel. Imagine a world full of green resources. Dr. Ina Kuzin Goldberg. In the microalgal biotechnology laboratory, we develop a technology for biomass and oil production from unique microalgal species. We concentrate only on algal strains which produce unique and high value products. Some of these products would be used instead of fish oil, which is commonly used for maintaining of cardiovascular health, but resources of fish are decreased resources. And also fish oil is prone to contamination, as you may know. Our product should be cleaner. It will be obtained from a green source, plant source. So we believe that we will develop a cleaner and better source of fatty acid for human health. Our microalgal research can directly affect the production of baby formula, production of dietary supplements, and can revolutionize the pharmaceutical industry. Imagine a more secure Israel with a formidable technological advantage. Professor Dan Bloomberg. The Homeland Security Institute at BGU is unique. 
that focuses on basic science questions that lead eventually to cutting-edge technologies that can help protect Israel's civil society and its allies in the democratic world. For example, one of the issues we deal with is autonomous robotics. They have to deal with unexpected environments, actually have to think for themselves and take decisions in order to take our own people out of harm's way. In addition, we're now working on nanosatellites, extremely small satellites that can be launched into space. There's something like that. And the idea is to see if we can use these small satellites as eyes in the sky, monitoring our borders, or even looking at distant places far away from our homeland. But you know, orders nowadays are a virtual thing. So we have to protect our computer networks. That's where most of the wars in the future are going to take place. What we actually attempt to do is to identify the true meaning of the text, in what context the main terms of it appear. This way we can actually quantify how confidential the document is and then prevent unauthorized personnel from accessing it. Fusing academic curiosity and basic science driven by real-life problems is going to lead us very far in protecting Israel and its allies from natural and man-made disasters. Education and research, combined with the pioneering spirit of Zionism and discovery, create the ideal foundation for miracles to unfold. Help Ben-Gurion University of the Negev design a safer, healthier, and greener future for Israel and the world.